In this module, we look at the process of vesicle formation. We have seen an animation in which vesicles form from endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. Vesicles contain special proteins that are concentrated and they are packed in vesicles that prevents these proteins to interact with other proteins in the cytoplasm. So, they are compartments, little packages in which carry different types of proteins and molecules. In general, we can categorize vesicles which come into two categories which are endocytosed or which will be exocytosed. Endocytosed vesicles are the ones which are formed at the plasma membrane. These vesicles form, they are generally formed to engulf certain particles. These particles are engulfed and put into the vesicles and transported inside the cell. Other vesicles which originate from the, for example, the Golgi apparatus in which different molecules are packed. The purpose is to deliver these molecules to the cell exterior. Cells that secrete, for example, the cells that secrete digestive enzymes or antibodies, they need to put package the material they are supposed to export into these little packages. And when these vesicles fuse with the plasma membrane, they spill out their contents which are released in the cell extracellular space. There are three types of endocytosis. There's phagocytosis, there's pinocytosis, and receptor mediated endocytosis. Phagocytosis is basically a process in which cell is engulfing a large particle. For example, our white blood cells, when they come across a bacteria or a pathogen, they will engulf it in a process which is similar to what is displayed on the screen. Pinocytosis is basically cells are forming little vesicles. Pino basically means drinking. So there are no large particles that cell is engulfing. It is basically engulfing water and some dissolved solutes through vesicle and importing it inside the cell. We look at the example of receptor mediated endocytosis in the next slide. This basically process initiates when a special protein, a receptor protein, which is transversing the plasma membrane or the lipid membrane interacts with a specific molecule. When this interaction takes place, in this case, in our case, you can see the little red dot interacting with the blue protein, blue structure, which is basically a receptor. When that happens, in the cytoplasmic domain of this blue protein, there's a change which allows certain other proteins to assemble on its cytoplasmic site. These proteins, they have a special structure just like on football, we have little patches. If we assemble them, it will result in a sphere. When these proteins start to assemble, they force or they pinch a bud out of the membrane. So the first step is selection of a molecule. When the molecule is selected, these special proteins in the example given here, it is the clathrin protein, which is associating with the receptor and causing it to form a bud or pinching a bud out of it. When that happens, as the membrane starts to narrow, there are other proteins that cut the membrane. The process is like if you have a ball of dough, you pinch a smaller part of it and then tie a thread around it and pull the thread, a smaller piece of dough will be separated, a small ball of dough will be separated. In the next stage, the core proteins or the clathrin proteins, after the vesicle has formed, they dissociate and the vesicle is allowed to move around. This is receptor mediated endocytosis. I'll show you a photograph of that, an electron micrograph. Here you can see the process through an electron microscope. Basically what I described in the previous slide, that, that process is happening. First of all, membrane is pinched and this is basically the recept when receptor binds a core protein, clathrin in our case, pinching takes place, just like I mentioned, if those uh, small pieces of football, they're assembled, they'll always come with a spherical shape. That's basically what's happening. That's if once the sphere is formed, another protein will come in and it will wrap itself around the little junction that is remaining between the, our newly formed vesicle and the plasma membrane or the parent membrane. When it Pulls, when we pull the string, the vesicle is 
released and the core proteins clathrin in our case is disassembled now our vesicle is ready to be transported or delivered to a destination